Father of those two missing Idaho kids says they're safe. Seven-year-old J.J. Vallow and 17-year-old were last seen in September. Chad Daybell left Kauai over the weekend and told ABC News the kids are safe. Their mother, Lori Vallow, in jail awaiting extradition back to Idaho. Back here in the Valley, Chandler police are hoping to speak to Lori again as they continue their investigation into her ex-husband's death. Our Claudia Rupsich spoke to detectives who say they're hoping for a break. July 11th, 2019, Chandler police respond to Lori Vallow's home in Gilbert, where she'd been living with her kids, Tylee and JJ. He was just yelling at me. Lori's brother, Alex Cox, tells police he got in a fight with Lori's husband, Charles Vallow. I turned around, and he hit me in the back of the head with a bat. So I went to my room and got my gun. Alex shot and killed him, saying it was self-defense. According to police, Lori and Tylee were home when it happened and then left to take JJ to school. Officers talked to them when they came back home. How long have you lived here? Like three weeks. Oh, geez. Yeah, okay. That's why the neighbors don't know us. <laughs> Alex Cox died in Gilbert in December 2019. His death is also under investigation. At this point, all that we have is the information. Chandler police have been looking through new evidence obtained from search warrants, including an email that involved Chad Daybell. It was allegedly written and sent by Charles Vallow to Daybell in late June. But in another email, Charles said he never wrote that, that it was Lori that created an account for him and sent it to Chad herself. First, we'd have to determine what's the validity of the emails. You know, once that's established, if it is, how do these add value to our investigations? It's been eight months since the homicide in Chandler. We're hoping with Lori in custody that perhaps uh, Gilbert PD or Rexburg PD are able to uh, reach a conclusion in their case that will provide some direction for us to go regarding is our case a closed case? Do we keep the case open and continue investigating? Police say they are working closely with the agencies involved and say if Lori will speak to them, they'll send detectives to Idaho once she's extradited. Claudia Rupsic, ABC 15, Arizona. It's a motive, but it is suspicious. The investigation surrounding Lori Vallow and her missing children continues. This as more questions emerge and as Idaho investigators prepare for her extradition back to Idaho this week. Police in Chandler, Arizona, confirming they're looking into a suspicious email that they think may shed light on the death investigation of their father, Charles Vallow. New specialist Garna Mejia breaks down this exclusive information uncovered by KSL. Garna is in our newsroom with the latest. Garna. Yeah, good afternoon. It was shortly after the children went missing that their mother remarried. Lori Vallow married Chad Daybell. Both of their spouses had died under suspicious circumstances. Mm -hmm. Now, police in Arizona are investigating the email as a possible link to Charles Vallow's death, and that could shed light on the children's disappearance. Oh, Chad Daybell describes what can be considered a happy marriage to his wife, Tammy Daybell, in the September 2015 post and pictures on his website. The Daybell's marriage lasted 28 years until 49-year-old Tammy's death on October 19th of last year. Tammy was buried three days later, and 11 days after that, 51-year-old Chad remarried in Kauai to 46-year-old Lori Vallow on November 5th. Lori's own husband, Charles Vallow, had recently died as well on July 12th. He was shot and killed in Arizona by Lori's older brother, Alex Cox, who claimed self-defense. Lori and their two children, Tylee and JJ, were also home. Chandler police are investigating Charles' death and this email obtained by KSL, which Charles allegedly sent on June 29th to his other brother-in-law, Adam Cox. They're suspicious and it draws um, various questions that we would need to ask Lori and Tylee and possibly Chad and try to get to the bottom of it. In his message to Adam, Charles claims that Lori created an email alias for him and sent a letter the previous day to Chad Daybell, inviting him to visit Arizona to write a book. Charles suspected Lori wrote the letter pretending to be him. The letter says in part, I would gladly fly you down here early next week. You can stay in our guest room like before. I hate to take you away from your family, but I would definitely make it worth your time. With admiration, Charles. Going back to his message to Adam, Charles continues. I'm not sure of the relationship with her and Chad Daybell, but they're up to something. She will not explain it. I'm going to send it to Chad Daybell's wife. Her name is Tammy. I found her email address on their website, too. I've got her cell phone number, too. 
Chandler police are also working closely with the other agencies in charge of Tammy's suspicious death investigation and Lori's missing children, J.J. Vallow and Tyler Ryan. They're considering sending detectives to question Lori after her extradition back to Idaho. I most likely think they probably will at least try to interview her again, um, but we would love to sit down and talk to Lori. Now, it's unclear if Charles ever contacted Tammy about that letter. Chad Daybell faces no charges in any of the investigations at this time. In the meantime, we will be tracking Lori's extradition back to Idaho this coming week. She faces two felony charges related to the children's disappearance. Back to you. In the case of two missing kids with Ellie. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rachel Cole. Mitch Carr has the night off. Lori Vallow, the mother of J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan, who have not been seen since September, is expected to be extradited back to Idaho this week. Vallow was arrested a little more than a week ago in Hawaii, and last week she waived her extradition. She initially asked for her $5 million bail to be reduced, but a judge denied that request. According to the East Idaho News, she's expected to be flown back on a commercial jet with several law enforcement officers before having a hearing in Rexburg next week. East Idaho News is also reporting that Chad Davis Bell, Lori's new husband, is already back in Rexburg. And tonight, 12 News is uncovering new details about a mysterious letter sent shortly before Charles Vallow, Lori Vallow's husband, was killed in Chandler. Team 12's Michael Downer joins us live here in Studio 12A with the latest. Michael. Yeah, it is a really a weird situation. The question here is, who really authored this letter? It's apparently signed by Lori's now dead husband, Charles Vallow, and sent to Lori's current husband, Chad Daybell. Now, Charles' family believes it was Lori, not Charles, who wrote the letter. But questions remain, why? And after all, where are the missing kids, J.J. and Tylee? You have no idea what these kids' fate has become. It's been more than five months since anyone has seen J.J. and Tylee, while their mother, Lori Vallow, was found in Hawaii refusing to let people know where the kids are. They've been missing for four months. You have nothing to say? So now Lori Vallow sits in jail, and we still don't know the answer to that question. After all, most of the people involved in this story are either dead or missing. The first death in the series was Lori's husband, Charles Vallow. Uh, there were several people present. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, those people are all missing or dead. Charles Vallow was shot and killed by Lori's brother back in July. But a new letter has investigators wondering. It is a key point evidence and a key point of our part of our investigation. The letter at first glance seems to be from Charles Vallow asking Chad Daybell, Lori's future husband, to come and visit, saying in part, quote, I would definitely make it worth your time. The thing is, Charles' family says emails show it was Lori, not Charles, writing the letter. We don't know exactly where it came from. We don't know if it was written by Charles or somebody else. It, it can make it extremely frustrating and complex. Just weeks later, Charles would be shot in a Chandler home. Soon, to Idaho, where in October, Chad Debo's wife, Tammy, mysteriously died. Two weeks later, Lori and Chad would be married. Looks like a big cover-up. But a cover-up of what? In November, Lori and Chad would lie to police about where Tylee and JJ were before disappearing to Hawaii, where investigators found the children's birth certificates, but not JJ and Tylee. Did you do something to your children? Are your children still alive? Now, Chandler PD says they have Wade actually going up to Idaho to question Lori on things like this letter, but for now, have decided against it. Lori is expected to be brought back to Idaho from the Hawaiian Islands as early as this week after she decided to not fight extradition. Rachel, back over to you.